But there is uh, certainly no delay in the sports forecast because it's coming up very, very soon. Yeah, just a couple minutes. We've got to pay some bills, but then we'll be right back. And I tell yes. you what, we got some video. The buzz in the sports world. Tim Tebow wants to play professional baseball. Well, look no further. We found some video of him playing wow. Wow. baseball. You'll want to <laughs> check this out next in sports. Good evening, sports fans. It's a rite of passage for senior high school football players right here in the Savannah area. Each August, the Knights of Columbus Council 631 rolls out the red carpet for seniors and the coaching staffs of public and private schools here in Chatham and Effingham counties. Tuesday night, the 66th annual kickoff banquet held in downtown Savannah, a packed house on hand for dinner and fellowship. For the next three months, these young men will battle on the gridiron, but for one night, these seniors taking part in a tradition just like thousands of players before them, including several members of the Knights of Columbus. Yes, we have lots of uh, members of the Knights of Columbus who have actually sat up in this hall for having their senior sports banquet, and it's a great tradition to pass on. These are our future leaders in our city, and I'm hoping they all you know, have a great football season and really succeed in life. Now, one of the young men on hand for tonight's kickoff banquet just so happens to be the newest member of the Big 22. This hard hitting shark looking to lead the Islands High School squad to a big 2016 season. Some would say Islands senior DJ Cone is a diamond in the rough. That's sort of correct. See, the hard hitting Cone does indeed shine bright from his linebacker position, making him a no brainer to join the Big 22. I've been playing this sport since I was three years old. Always like to watch it on TV and always saying that's that's my goal. That's my goal. I'm going to play on TV one day and I'm going to make my parents proud. As a junior, Cone credited with an amazing 165 tackles for the Sharks. That to go along with his three sacks. I was been here before there was even a varsity. Been there most of my last year. Um, with the stats I put up last year, I cannot wait to go on the field this year and just amaze the crowd and show them what I'm made of. In addition to his ability to always be around the ball, Cone is coachable and leads by example on and off the field. It's great being a leader, watching kids develop, teaching, helping them out. Now, coming up this Saturday, that's Saturday, August 13th, join me and Stephanie Farratt as we introduce you to the entire Big 22 squad. Our 30-minute special airs at 7 o'clock right here on WJCL 22 ABC. Well, it's been a historic first season for the Savannah Bananas, not only in the stands where the club shattered the Coastal Plain League single season attendance record, but on the field as well. The Bananas, who claimed the top spot in the Western Division on the eve of opening up the CPL playoffs out at historic Grayson Stadium. Savannah will host the Ashboro Copperheads Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. A win by the bunch will give them a home semifinal matchup on Friday night. That's two wins and into the three game championship series. The Bananas loose and ready for the postseason to begin. Uh, you know, we're just going to have to play like we've been playing, making the routine plays, uh, getting those clutch hits when we need them, and uh, just not trying to overdo it or think too much. Just got to go out there and play the game that we've been playing our whole lives. Um, I'm really excited. I just want to uh, go out and have my best game of the year. Um, really want to win. And uh, with this offense back in me, as long as I don't give up more than two or three runs, we should be good to go. We're going to score five or six in a game. The Atlanta Braves win their fourth straight. Braves top on the Brewers 2-1 to one Tuesday night. Finally, it's the buzz around the sports world. And no, it's not the Olympics or the pending retirement of Alex Rodriguez. No, it's Tim Tebow. As crazy as it sounds, the former NFL quarterback and current ESPN broadcaster is actively pursuing a career in professional baseball. And he plans to hold a workout for Major League Baseball teams later this month. You are now seeing the last time Tebow played competitive baseball. He was a junior at Nice High School down the coast in Jacksonville. He was pretty good, and apparently he still is. Many former players and executives say folks will be impressed by Tebow's talent. After winning the Heisman Trophy at the University of Florida, Tebow, who turns 29 next week, went on to play for four different NFL teams. He spent some time with the Broncos, Jets, Patriots, and Eagles before moving into the broadcast booth. Again, this is not a publicity stunt. Tim Tebow plans to give professional baseball a go. And that's a look at sports. Stick around.